Your assignment today will be to write four short programs that show looping motion, and I'm going to show you exactly what those should look like. Um, I'm going to go to Projects, and I'm going to go to Game Lab. That's where all of this work will be done. Now, you do not have to use the same object that I use. You can use whatever object you want out of the Sprite libraries, or go get one of your own, or make one of your own. I'm going to go over here to the Animation tab, and I am going to use this diamond, this diamond ore thing, and I'm going to rename this just diamond, and I'll go back to my code. Now, we're, we're going to start off like we do a lot of times. So I'm just going to create a sprite and set an animation. Um, I'll call this gem, G-E-M. And in this first one, what I'm going to do is make that diamond fall down the screen. And here's the idea that we're working on. When it gets down to the bottom, it has to reset itself back up to the top. We're going to do four different ones, but on the first one, the diamond is going to fall down from the top of the screen down to the bottom, and we're going to check to see, is it at the bottom? If it is, we're going to reset it back to the top. Watch how I do it. I'll take this gem, and I'll put it over 200 and down 0 to begin with. That's going to be at the middle of the top of the screen. This will have to be gem, and I will set this to diamond. Inside the draw loop now, well, the other thing I'm going to do is go ahead and give it a velocity. And I'm going to use the velocity y. The, we're going to use velocity x and velocity y from yesterday's lesson. So I'm going to bring a velocity y because I want this diamond to fall down. So I'll say gem, and I want it to fall down. That's going to be a positive number, so I'll just assign it 5. But you could do a different number if you want to. All right, so now that's all set. Now inside the draw loop, I am going to just set a background color. I think I'll just use blue for this. And let me, I'll see if I like that background here in a minute. And just to check it, I'm going to go ahead and put in a draw sprites. And let's take a look. All right, so there it is. I'm going to reset that. Now, it, it's working. But here's the thing that I want to do. And notice if I run this program as it is right now, the diamond falls down to the bottom, and then that's it. It just keeps falling. Here's the new thing of the day. I want to put in an if block to check if the diamond has come to the bottom of the screen. If it does, I want to reset it back to the top. Here's what that's going to look like. The if blocks are in the control drawer, so I'll bring one over. I'm going to be checking the bottom, the Y location of the diamond in this case, because it's falling down. So I'm, this is going to be a greater than thing. I'm going to go to the math drawer, and I'll get a greater than block and bring it over. I'm going to be checking the sprite.y, and it's going to be gem.y, and I want to see if it's gotten greater than 400. All right, that's the bottom of the screen, so I'll see if it's greater than 400. If it is... If the, the diamond has fallen to the bottom of the screen, I just want to tell the program, tell the computer, take that diamond and put it back at the top. Well, that can just be done with a sprite.y, and it's got to be Jim in my situation here, and I'm going to set it back to zero. That's the top of the screen, so I'll set it back to zero. Got to click in there. So this, you see what that if block looks like? Look at that if block. If the Y value of this gem becomes greater than 400, then reset the Y value of the gem back to zero. Now let's see if it works. I run it. Here's how you're going to know. This is your objective. It falls down. When it hits the bottom, it falls down again. And then it falls down again. And then it falls down again. And it's never going to stop. This is a continuing loop that will never stop, but this is what we're after today. Now, this is only one of the four programs. So I'm going to hit Reset. I'm going to come up here and rename it, and I'm just going to call this loop number one. It's a looping behavior. It falls over and over and over and over. So I'll call it loop number one, or I could call it, maybe I'll do this. I'll call it loop down. All right. Great. Now, remix, rename, that's going to be your friend today. I'm going to remix it because you have to do four of them. All right, so this time I'm going to do a loop up. Please name your programs. So I'm going to do a loop up. So I'm just going to come in here and change a few things. For the gem, I'm going to start it over 200 and down 400. I want it to begin at the bottom of the screen. 
Now it's velocity this time. I'm still going to use the velocity y block. You can see it right here. But it's going to be a negative number because I want it to, this sounds weird, but I want it to fall up. All right, so I'm just going to say negative 5. Now the other thing I'm going to have to change in here is this if situation. And, and, and I've got to make some changes. I'm going to be checking the y location of the gem, but I'm going to pull this out. And I'm, it's going to be a less than now. So I'm going to go get to the, go to the math drawer and get a less than block because what I'm going to check to see is that did the y location of the gem ever become less than zero? Zero is the top of the game screen. All right, so we're going to check the sprite dot y, which in my case would be gem dot y, and we're going to check did it become less than zero? And if it did, then I want to reset it. If it comes up and it hits the zero point, I want to reset it back down to the bottom. Well, the bottom is 400, so look at that if block. That's the thing that makes it work. If the y location of the gem has become less than zero, reset it down to the bottom. Let's run it. You should run your programs and make sure they work. It's falling up. When it goes off the top of the screen, it resets to the bottom and it falls up again. And it just does it over and over and over. Great. All right, so that one's done. I've got a loop up and a loop. I've got a loop down and a loop up. The other two we're going to do is a, a right movement and a left movement. All right, well, I'm going to speed up here. I'm going to remix. I'm going to rename. I'll do a loop right. All right, so here we go. Just going to change the things in my program that I need to change. This time, I'm going to have the, the gym begin over 0 and down 200. That's halfway down the screen. It'll be over here at the left-hand edge, and I want to move it to the right. If I'm going to move it to the right, it is not going to be a velocity y. It's going to be a velocity x. So I'll go get a velocity x block, make that gem, and it's not going to be negative. If I'm moving to the right, it's going to be positive. Now I have to come down here and edit my if command, my if block that I have down here. It's not going to be a Y anymore. And if, if some of you kind of probably like the show text feature, and you could do it with show text. You could get in there and click show text and just edit some things and make changes. I'm just going to pull it out. So I'll pull out that block. I'm going to be checking to see if the X location of the gym has gotten greater than 400. So I'll go get a greater than block, and I'll go get a sprite.x, and it's going to be, in my case, gem.x, and I'm going to check to see, did it become greater than 400? Now, again, down here in my if block, I've got to pull this dot y out of here. I don't want dot y. This is going to be a dot x, a sprite.x. It'll be gem. And what I want to do here is if the x value, the x location of the gem, has gotten bigger than 400, then I want to reset it back over to the left-hand edge, and that's going to be 0. Always, 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 I see something I left out here. Um, oh, that's just leftover. I'll pull that out. All right, so always run your program. Always. So it's sliding across to the right. And when it gets over to the right-hand side of the screen, it resets back to the left, and it does it again. This is the secret to like making a background look like it's moving in a game, or moving an object over and over, or making things fall down on top of a player over and over. And we'll get more complicated with it as we go, but this is the basic idea. All right, this one's working. This is my loop right. So one more time, I'm going to hit Remix. I'm going to hit Rename. And this is going to be a loop left. And on this one, I will start the gym over 400 and down 200. That's going to put it way over on the right-hand side of the game screen. The velocity x this time, I'm using velocity x, but it's going to have to be negative because it has to move to the left. On my if block, I have to make some changes. And again, I could do show text. I could click show text and come over here and edit that. But I think I'll just pull it out. Do it, do it however you feel comfortable doing it. I'm going to be checking to see if the x value of the gem got less than 0. All right, so I'm going to get sprite.x. And it'll be gem in my case. 
And is it less than zero? And if it is, I want to reset it to be over on the right hand side of the screen. That's going to be over 400. So here's my if block. Look how it's set up. If the x value of the gem is less than zero, then reset, jump it over, make it 400. Let's run that. Always run your programs to make sure they work. It is sliding to the left. When it gets to the left edge, it resets back over to the right edge, and it does it over and over and over and over. So I've got four programs here. On one of them, the diamond, the gem, fell down, and it did it over and over. On the next one, it fell up, and it did it over and over. On the next one, it moved to the right, over and over and over. And on this one, it's moving to the left, and it does it over and over and over. That's how you're going to know if you did it right if it keeps doing it over and over like what you're seeing right here. It is now your turn. Let's go to work on these four programs.